Alright guys, so I'm going to give you a little demonstration. This is just a replay of a match that I was in a few days ago. I'm just going to do a little commentary as I, as I go through the, the game. So I'm in a first generation Falchion VT. This is a light mobility VT. Like, it's very fast, but it's very, like, doesn't have a lot of health. So what's going on right now is I'm starting up the, the operating system for the tank. So I've had to flick all the switches. This is just a boot up sequence. Um, on the top left and top right is my main weapons. So on the top right is my my main uh, assault weapon, and then on the left is my sub weapon. And then as I push through main and sub buttons, it'll cycle through the different um, different weapons that I have like equipped. So. As you can see, I've locked onto my target. I'm just going to try and go around him. I've also got another one of my teammates. That's a blue arrow on the left of the map at the top. So I'm just going to try and go around him and just have a bit of backup as I take on this guy. So the bottom right hand corner is my torque meter and speed. So there's an analog speed um, speed gauge and then above that is the uh, is a digital speed gauge and then just above that on the right is my uh, is my battery but it's basically your stamina in this game like you've got battery you can do sidestep dodges and you know all that sort of good stuff use uh, energy weapons and all that sort of shit so I've just knocked over a building and I've fallen over now because this game is based on torque, I can't exactly go and uh, start into 5th gear straight away, I have to build up my momentum, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. And on the left of the bottom map view where it says lock, and lock on cam, to the left of that is my gear, my gear shift gauge, it tells me what gear I'm in, so I'm in 5th gear at the moment. To the left of that is 4 bars, and that's my health meter. So. Yeah, the 4 bars means 100%, 2 bars means 50%, it, it's basically increments of 25% per light. And then below that is my fuel gauge, and I've used a little bit of fuel. So now I'm just going, I've gotten behind my enemy, and I've taken him out. When your opponent is marked, you can use a marker launcher, um, they show up as a pink arrow on the top map. So he, one of my members, like one of my team marked him, you can see on the left there, number two has been marked as well, so I know his, his exact position and location. Now on the, the right of the screen will come up with a balancer, BLNC warning, that means that I'm about to tip over and I've just run into my other teammate, so again I'm going to have to cycle through the gears and try and get back up to speed. Now the, the, that grey marking on the map up the top is a, one of my bases that's been marked, uh, neutralized. So one of the enemy team has gone over the base and tried to capture it and then obviously failed capturing it. So now I'm about to go back to the base and recap the base. Now I've just seen the enemy. and I've taken him out. Now, in the middle of the screen it says occupying, that means I'm recapturing my own base or capturing an enemy base. Because I didn't exactly capture it fully, it's not gonna give me any bonus points towards my uh, my team pool of sortie points, which is your team's overall point pool. Um, the way this game works is Every time you spawn in, it deducts an amount of points from your team's pool, and every time you die, it also deducts an amount of points uh, from your team pool, based on how many points your vertical tank is worth. So in this case, this VT is worth 20 points, so every time I die, I lose 20 points from the team pool. Every time I spawn in, I lose a further 20 points from my team pool. But we'll go over a little more on that later. So 
So uh, see, I haven't locked on Kyle just yet because he doesn't know that I'm right behind him. So I'm just going to keep on trying to get around him. The best position, like the best way this game is to fight in this game is to try and get behind your opponent. Uh, so they can't shoot at you, you can shoot them from behind. That's the ultimate strategy of trying to defeat your enemy. As you can see, he's like directly in front of me. He's, he can't turn around. I've basically got him. I've got another enemy there on the left. I've got to try and get out of the way. Right, I've dodged him. Back to my original target. And he's destroyed. Now the warn on the left of the main monitor and shot signals means that I'm locked on by my enemy and they're currently shooting at me. I've got to try and maneuver out of the way of their shots. And this is the eject sequence. If I fail to eject in time, my save file gets deleted. Luckily I was able to eject. And from the map you can select your own spawns. That blinking red light on one of my maps means there's an enemy target that's around my base. He's trying to take my base. I can see one of my teammates are in trouble. That pink arrow is the enemy team, uh, enemy team member. So we're just gonna go try and help them out. See, oh, the pink arrow went away, so they were able to defeat that enemy. Now I believe it, once an opponent is marked. It lasts for about two minutes that they're on the screen um, as a blinking pink arrow. After that two minutes is up, if they're still alive, that pink arrow will go away. The enemy's seen me, there's two of them over there. Well, there's three of them actually. Now I'm gonna try and get behind this guy. and I've successfully been able to take out all three of the enemy targets that were in that vicinity. As you can see, they're on six points left. We have 86 points left, so basically the next kill wins. And I've currently got five kills to one death. See, that just, that was me pushing the main weapon, so I've cycled through my main weapons. Now I'm on the 140 machine gun from the 200 assault rifle. I've got 49% health.
Now what I'm doing now is just scanning over the general area with my right stick. That's the reticle. That's my aiming lever to aim my weapons. This uh, scanning over the horizon allows me to see if there's an enemy that will pop up on the reticle. If um, their reticle will change colour if I've got them in range or whatever. So I'm just slowly scanning through the area just to see if I can maybe lock onto a target and then find out their location. It looks like one of my teammates has found the enemy. Um, judging by the grey base that's up the top. So they're trying to get the base. Every time they take one of our bases, they gain 50 points. And we lose 50 points. And every time we take their base, it's vice versa. We gain 50 points and then they lose 50 points. This allows for the enemy to spawn in. If they have enough points in their sortie pool. As you can see, they're all st starting to spawn up, but we were able to take them out, and that's the end of the replay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you'd like me to do more, I'd be happy to, you know, go through some more things and show you guys how to, what's actually happening on screen, because I know it's a lot to take in, so, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys later.